Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Tony'sPace.com. Time for our MLB three pack with Ben Rohali. You'll find him over at Tony'sPace.com. Where he's been on red hot, red hot here with his best best for 2024. We'll bring him in right now. Ben, how's it going? Good, Tony. How you doing? Doing great. Looking forward to this baseball card, 13 game card here for Friday. We got three picks here from Ben. We begin with this one here out west as Padres face the Giants. A close line here. Giants minus 111, total of eight. Yeah. So I'm gonna break out the pick again it looks like my plays from yesterday uh using the pick here are starting to work out so uh let's rock and roll with my pick here in the san diego padres versus the san francisco giants uh this is for friday 4 35 p.m eastern time game the uh, probable starters are right-hander dylan cease for the padres versus right-hander jordan hicks for the giants uh both pitchers faced each other in the first uh, game of the season so kind of a change of venue here but uh, they both faced each other in the first game uh, Dylan sees he went only four in two-thirds innings he gave up two earned runs uh, he looked okay but still a little shaky uh, we'll see if he returns to form that he had once uh, back with the White Sox on the other side, though, Jordan Hicks, uh, as they are kind of turning him into a starter, uh, he's kind of been meandering around with the Cardinals until he came over with the Giants. Uh, he pitched outstanding. He didn't give up any runs, uh, one hit over five innings. And in the spring, he looked really sharp as well. The The Giants, uh, they started the whole season here on the road. Uh, they did take two of three against the Padres in San Diego. I think coming home here, they're going to be really fired up for their, their home opener. Neither bullpen, though, is pitching very well. Their ERAs are both over six. Uh, so I'm going to just focus on this first five innings. And in in Jordan Hicks here is my pick is the San Francisco Giants on the money line in the first five innings. I saw like 125, minus 125. All right, Peter Hollock, click the link below for his best bets, Padres and Giants. It'll be Giants' first five money line here at minus the 125. All right, let's continue here on our MLB rundown here. Join me, Ben Ruhala. We're going to get ready for here the next for the next game here on this three pack. We move over to 6:40 Eastern time, so we'll go ahead and move the chains here as we'll be looking at this Mets and Reds, and that's where it was right there, Mets and Reds. And it'll be Mets and Reds going head to head here. Reds, a dollar twenty-one total of nine. Yeah, so again, we're going to rock and roll with my pick here in the New York Mets versus the Cincinnati Reds game for Friday. This is a 6.40 p.m. Eastern time game. Uh, the Mets, they've got the uh, veteran Jose Quintana, right hand, or left-hander going for them. And on the other side, you got the young Hunter Green, right-hander for the Reds. Uh, Quintana, he went four and two-thirds innings in his first start. He gave up two earned runs on six hits uh, <clears throat> with a home run. Uh, he was shaky at best in the spring. Uh, his last two starts, he gave up, uh, this was in the spring, he gave up nine total earned runs across those two games combined. Hunter Green on the other side, he went four and two-thirds in his first start. Uh, he gave up one earned run, five hits. Uh, he walked four. Uh, he can be a little wild, a little inconsistent, but he did strike out seven. Green, on the other hand, his spring was pretty good. He had one shaky uh, outing. Other than that, he looked pretty good in the spring. The Mets, they're really struggling. They finally got their first win, uh, unfortunately, against my Tigers, who uh, lost their first game of the season here today in the uh, second half of the doubleheader. Uh, but they're really struggling, struggling to hit the ball. Uh, they are hitting just 188 on the season. Uh, a lot of the Mets hitters uh, have some poor numbers. On the other side, the Reds, they've come out swinging. They're 4-2 uh, and two on the season. They're hitting 280 against lefties in this young season. Um, <clears throat> I, right now, I just find it too hard not to back the Reds as their offense is just really clicking. As I mentioned, Hunter Green can be hit or miss, but when he's on, he's got uh, miss-type pitches, pun intended there, I guess. Uh, again, the Mets are hitting only 250 against Hunter Green. The Reds are hitting 314 against Jose Quintana. Therefore, my pick is the high potent Cincinnati Reds on the money line at minus 125. All right, Ben Ruhala, click the link below for his best bets Mets and Reds. Uh, the pick here in this game will be on Reds here, minus 121. All right, let's continue here on our MLB rundown as we get ready here for our next game. 8 10 Eastern time will be the start. It'll, it will be. Uh, 
We'll move to the game here in just a second. It'll be this one right here. Mariners, Brewers, Brewers, $1.22, total come in at seven. Yeah, so my pick here in the Seattle Mariners uh, versus the Milwaukee Brewers. This is an 8, 10 p.m. Eastern time game for Friday. Uh, we got a good pitching matchup in this one. We've got Logan Gilbert, right-hander for the Mariners versus Freddie Peralta, right-hander for the Brewers. Uh, the Mariners, they've started the season three and four. All their games were at home. Now they get to go on the road. The Brewers, they started, uh, they're, they're four and one on the season, and they're one and one at home. Uh, both pitchers pitched really well in their first outing. Logan Gilbert went seven innings, giving up just one earned run, uh, four hits, uh, eight strikeouts. He did take, um, he didn't get the win in that game. On the other side, uh, Freddie Peralta, he pitched six innings, giving up one hit. Uh, it was a homer, but he struck out eight, and he got the win against the Mets. Uh, the Brewers, they've had some success against Gilbert. They're hitting 333 against him. And Willie Adamas, Christian Yelich, and Reese Hoskins have all gone deep on him. Peralta, though, on the other side, has tremendous numbers against the Mariners. It's in a limited sample size, but they're really good numbers overall. They're just hitting .91 against him. Uh, Milwaukee is a good home team. They won almost 60% of their games at home last year. They're hitting 271 on the young season, where the Mariners are hitting just 196. Therefore, my pick here is the Milwaukee Brewers on the money line at minus 125. All right, Ben Ruhalek, get his play is at TonySpeech.com. His premium picks there. Mariners and Brewers, the pick here will be the Brewers minus the 122. All right, let's take a look over at TonySpeech.com here for Friday's action. Of course, uh, we will have a 13-game card here from Major League Baseball. Also, NBA coming in with a 12-game card. Action on the ice as well. Uh, ben enjoying great results here with his best bets. 850 units of profit for the year. What do you have going on over at Tony's Picks? Yeah, so the uh, best bet I had uh, yesterday or for today's game, the Cardinals looked like that's, that's cashed here on the run line. So trying to keep that streak alive. Uh, I'll have a three pack going in for uh, baseball. We got a big slate for Friday, so I might do like five to seven games. There's a lot of games I like tomorrow. I feel like I'm kind of starting to get dialed in. Uh, the NBA is is picking up here as we head into the playoffs, so I'll I'll be sprinkling in some NBA, and then of course we've got the uh, Final Four on Saturday. So I've got the uh, tournament here closing out. I'll have a couple of picks for that. For baseball, I've got the season long package out there again. Like I said, I, I We'll do a lot of picks in baseball, so you can get in on the cheap versus having to, you know, maybe buy, you know, smaller packages throughout the season or a lot of games uh, if you want to take that route. So, looking forward to a lot of baseball here coming up. That's right, guys. Got to go with Ben Rahala over at TonySpace.com. Find his best bet record has been outstanding. 850 units of profit. Get on board with uh, Ben. Just click the link in the description. You'll land right on his handicapper page and buy his plays here for the long term or the short term. There are one day passes up there for you. Remember, the one day passes are profit guaranteed. They must turn a profit. The amount you purchase is credit back to your account for site credits. That is profit guaranteed. Or if you prefer the long term passes, those are great value. There no profit guarantee there because they're sold at discount price, especially with high volume and they're really, really saves you a lot of money when you get that long term pass and will save you some money indeed when you use the promo code Tony T at checkout. You'll save that 20% off. Again, click the link in the description and get on over and get signed up with Ben's Premium Pick Packages. All right, Ben, as always, uh, great having the show. Continue that success, and we'll catch up with you again tomorrow. All right, thank you. Take care, Tony. You as well. For Ben, I'm Tony. We'll talk to you guys tomorrow.